Hello fellow Myrtlers, today is Thursday, March 14th, 2024, and it's a great day to solve a murder. Today we have the murder at the Upscale Chapel. We have three 4x4 grids of suspects, weapons, and locations, and I do believe this will be an all clues and evidence day, yes. So you see we have our final murder clue here, a wine bottle was used to commit the murder. So we're going to go ahead and put in a wine bottle here as the murder weapon. And our job today will be to figure out the who and the where by using our grid and our clues and evidence. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Today for suspects, we have Comrade Champagne, Dame Obsidian, Officer Copper, and Brother Brownstone. The weapons are a prayer of string beads or a string of prayer beads, a holy relic, which once again, I love that the holy relic is the Statue of Liberty icon. Hilarious to me. Um, a wine bottle and an antique flintlock. The locations are the choir loft, the nave, the graveyard, and the bell tower. So let's go ahead and dive into our clues and evidence. So we see that the suspect in the graveyard was born on December 24th. So this is going to be an astrology clue. I don't know what this is off the top of my head, so I need to check this. Okay, Capricorn looks like it would be the uh, star sign that we're looking for as December 24th falls within this range. So let me go ahead and check out our suspects and see which one. Okay, we've got Comrade Champagne was a Capricorn. So it's very possible that we're looking for Comrade Champagne to solve this clue. That said, we should check our other suspects as well. Aha! Okay, so it's between Brother Brownstone and Comrade Champagne. They're both Capricorns. We don't know their birthday. We just know that their star sign is Capricorn, so they could be the person who was born on December 24th. So what we're gonna do in this case for Brother Brownstone and Comrade Champagne, our two Capricorns, we are going to put question marks for the graveyard for them as their location. So let me go ahead and do that. We have Comrade Champagne and Brother Brownstone and the location of the graveyard yep okay so we're gonna put question marks for these two and then we're gonna put x's here for the other two suspects because we know they were not the suspects in the graveyard that's all we can do with this clue for now but we'll probably come back to it once we get these question marks figured out okay a string of prayer beads was certainly not in the nave so we're going to look for prayer beads here and the nave and we're going to mark an x there because they were not there Again, not a ton from that clue, but hopefully we'll get some more in the next ones. Either an antique flintlock was in the choir loft, or Dame Obsidian brought an antique flintlock. Okay, so this one's a little tricky. We're going to come back to it just because we will have more information soon, I believe, that will help us answer this. But essentially, we know that um, if Dame Obsidian brought an antique flintlock, it was not in the choir loft. But if, in, if Dame Obsidian did not bring the antique flintlock, then it was. So we need to figure out that part first. Okay, a blonde hair was found in the nave. So let's go through. I'm guessing it's going to be Comrade Champagne with the colors, but let's see if there are any other blondes. Ah, once again. <laughs> All right, today's a little trickier. We've got two people now here as well. So... Let's see, blonde hair was found in the nave. So we've got the nave. And we've got possibly Comrade Champagne, possibly Officer Copper, and we need to mark X's for Dame Obsidian and Father Brownstone. They were definitely not there. Um, okay, an empty pedestal was found in the giant bell. Okay, I know from previous puzzles that the empty pedestal has to do with the holy relic. Um, for evidence of this, look for an empty pedestal left behind. But if you're newer to the puzzles and you're not familiar with some of these uh, weapons, then this is where you look in the body text to see if there's any information there about what to look for left behind. So the giant bell, uh, I'm assuming it's the bell tower, yep. Um, and again, just saw that from the big bell. Okay, so we know that this weapon, the holy relic, was in the bell tower. This is their first real deterministic clue where we know a lot more information because of this clue. Um, so that's very helpful here. Um, and again, we're able to do this because we know that if the Holy Relic was in the bell tower, that no other weapons were in the bell tower. So that's the vertical line here. And the Holy Relic was not in any of the other locations. And that's the horizontal line here. Okay. Hazel eyes were seen in the choir loft. So let's run through our suspects again. 
hazel eyes, green eyes, blue eyes, brown eyes. Oh, finally we have one that actually tells us what we're doing. <laughs> okay, so Comrade Champagne was in the choir loft. This is helpful for a few of these clues. Um, actually, this solves a ton of clues right here. Double checking this, hazel, green, blue, brown. Yep, all right, choir loft. Wow, what a clue, this is great. So this is really helpful. This solves basically the whole puzzle for who was where. Um, the reason is we know that it has to be one of these two um, for these locations based on the earlier clues about um, the Capricorn and the blonde hair. And that then also helps us fill this out to know that Dame Obsidian was in the bell tower. Now, since we know that Dame Obsidian was in the bell tower, we can come back to this either or clue. Um, since, and uh, let's see, so since Dame Obsidian was in the bell tower, that means that Dame Obsidian's weapon was the holy relic. So we can go ahead and mark that. And that's because we know that if she's in the bell tower, then this is the weapon associated with that location. So we have to mark that in here. This then also tells us that the antique flintlock was in the choir loft. So we can go ahead and put these two together, which means that Comrade Champagne had the antique flintlock. Um, let's see what else we get from this. Great, because we have this previous clue about the prayer beads not being in the nave, we know that they must have been in the cemetery or the graveyard because that's the only possible location left on this row. So we can go ahead and fill that out, which also gives us the weapon for the knave, which is the bottle of wine. And that means that we have our solve now. Um, we know that it was Officer Copper in the knave and that they had the bottle of wine, which we know is today's uh, murder weapon. So we can go ahead and make our accusation for Officer Copper with a wine bottle in the knave. And let's see if we were right. All right, we were right. Thanks so much for playing along. I hope this was a helpful walkthrough and we'll see you tomorrow.